Welcome back everyone to a little bit of a preview before season two starts different format than typical off seasons because I'm not gonna lie I may or may not have deleted our off season file But we're still gonna go through everything all the recruits We got and our team schedule as you know, we are traveling on the road against Alabama for the first game of the season Highlighted then by two conference games and then playing our biggest rival North Carolina Both those teams really dominated us a year ago and then once again our conference slate the teams I really want to get revenge against are Coastal Carolina, Marshall. Those are the two main teams that really beat us down. And right now in our conference, we are projected to finish sixth, despite the fact we are the highest rated team in the Sun Belt with 80 overalls across the board. A year ago, we were about a 68 overall, so a 12 overall jump in the offseason. But again, nothing being taken for granted because all these teams are relatively close in team overall. Our best player is Kalen Franklin. I know I see Matt Thomas right there, but people that actually play every down. Kalen Franklin, our right tackle, 84 overall pass protecting archetype, 88 pass block, 83 finesse, 93 pass block power. Gonna be a true anchor on that right side, 81 lead block, 99 stamina. So he's gonna be out there every single play. 81 impact blocking, not really that fast, but 80 run block, 81 run block finesse, and 79 run block power. And then on defense, our leader, Alex Peterson, coming back after tearing his rotator cuff last year. So he's a fifth-year senior here for the Panthers. 88 play recognition, going to be a true leader on our defense. 92 hit power, 80 jumping. Once again, going to be a big thumper in the run game. 86 pursuit, 87 tackle. Not really the greatest coverage guy, but he has been sorely missed on our defense. We were not good a year ago. And at quarterback, I am so excited right now. Russ Durant coming in, four-star quarterback, star development trait. This man is going to be absolutely great for our team, especially at the quarterback position. 90 throw power, and it only can go up one more. 90 is more than enough in the college game. 93 agility, 88 change of direction, 81 juke, 81 spin. Can do great things with the ball in his hand. Great accuracies, 87 short, 82 medium, 81 deep as a true freshman. 77 carrying, 77 ball carrier vision. 93 stamina and 98 speed 96 excel that is absolutely insane from a quarterback spot he can do whatever it takes outside of the pocket escaping from the defense as you see here in this practice clip just maneuvering his way spinning his way into the end zone and he can provide that spark from our quarterback spot and in case he goes down we're not going to miss a beat with bernard kimball kimball has 95 throw power coming in Going to be registered this year in case for our fifth year down the line, he can start 92 agility, 84 break sack, 85 short accuracy, 81 and 81 deep, 81 play action as well. A lot of 81s here for Kimball. Uh, 84 stamina, going to be on the field a good bit, but 94 speed, 95 excel. So once again, if Durant misses time, we're not going to miss a beat with Kimball. And at running back, we're going to start true freshman Ty Abraham. You will still see a little bit of David Long. But Abraham, as a freshman, four-star receiving back coming in, he can really develop quite nicely. Not many high caps that he has. His rut running can develop. His hands can develop. 79 carrying and 77 catching. His agility can as well. 89 agility, 86 change of direction. So hopefully, as he keeps coming along, that change of direction is going to be really useful out of the backfield and going out on angle routes, screens, things of that nature. But I'm really excited to see where Abraham can end up. Once again, David Long will see some carries in this offense. This might be a little bit of running back by committee unless one of these guys separates himself. Again, going to start Abraham, but Long can provide a bunch of things, especially in the receiving game, maybe even as a third down running back. He's got great catching, great uh, rut running, things of that nature. And we have completely revamped our wide receivers here with transfers, with true freshmen, all headlined by Nathan LeCocq. He is a transfer out of Tennessee with star development. Didn't even touch the field. Didn't get any sort of stats. So I am really, really happy that he has came to the Shadow Panthers. 85 release, 83 deep row running, 80 medium, 78 short. But he has no caps despite his IQ. So he could very well be a 99 overall receiver for us in the next couple years. And he also has 94 speed, 91 excel. So he's going to be doing great things either after the catch or separating away from the defense. A true freshman wide receiver we brought in is Tyrone Oaks, four-star elite development. The elite development means so much in this game. Oaks is going to be fantastic here probably by next season. Does have a little bit more caps than Lecoq did, but still, his route running can be maxed out. His hands can almost be maxed out. 88 spec catch coming in. 
91 change direction, 96 jumping. His ball key vision can almost be, and he also has 94 speed. Our third player, another true freshman, Jeremiah Trannon with elite development, coming in at six foot five. Think about that. A big, tall receiver with great rut running coming out. His hands can be maxed out. Elusiveness maxed out. Quickness can be maxed out. So eventually, once he does develop, he is going to be an absolute monster. 91 speed, 90 excel too. But get this. Trannon can also play both ways. Coming in, he's got 74 man, 78 zone coverage. So he might see some action on defense and as well as on offense, being our next Travis Hunter for the foreseeable future. And another couple receivers I want to highlight here is Joshua Gaddis. Going to be a true freshman, only normal development, three star coming in. He can be a very good depth piece in the future. He's got a lot of caps though, so he may not get too much better than where he's at right now. But Connor Shockey, with star development, he might only be a 59 overall. But with that start of element, he can develop quite nicely, maybe be a mid 80 overall piece. Hopefully be all wide receiver four in the future if he doesn't transfer out a lot of high abilities. That's not really too capped out. So we'll see where he ends up being. We did bring in transfer tight end Mason Williams from Ohio. He came in playing in the Maction now all the way down south in the Sun Belt had 300 yards and two touchdowns. Last year we had Jeff Page and we upgraded tremendously with Williams. He's about as capped out of where he can be. Max down on rut running 82 short, 78 medium. Max down on IQ. Max down on power with 88 toughness. 75 trucking, 79 stiff arms. Hopefully, he can do a little bit after the catch. 80 excel, only 73 speed and decent run blocking. We also have revamped our offensive line. Starting off with Terrell Stack was a guard that came in as a three-star. Moved him over to tackle. Got great power coming in 83, but he is kind of capped on where how far he can go. So we're really going to see based on performances who starts, Eddie Gonzalez or Stack. Right now, leaning Gonzalez, unless we see performance issues. And if we do, we will rotate Stack in. Nate Foreman returns, had a poor season a year ago, but I'm hoping with him developing up to a 75 overall that he can have better performances, especially with his pass blocking. Coming in 86 for his footwork, 83 run block. But heading over to center, we have a guy, Grant Huff, coming in as a one star, but as a redshirt freshman has got up to a 75 overall, and it looks like he can develop quite nicely too. 85 pass block power headlining his pass blocking, great stamina, 92, great toughness, good injury ratings, and good run blocking with 77 run block and 77 run block power. Outside of him, we got three freshman centers that we have redshirted, but the main guy I want to highlight here is Tremont Earl, coming with impact development. Does have great pass blocking with 83 on his pass block and 83 for his power. But where he can really develop is his footwork, his run blocking, because run block is only at a 60. So we're going to let him ride the bench this year and come up later on. At right guard, we have Xavier Carroll coming at 78 overall. Silver pocket shield, which is really nice. 85 pass block power, which is great too. And 88 impact blocking is his main highlights. At right tackle, we've already went over Kalen Franklin. But I want to highlight Louis Neville. Coming in as a three-star with impact development. He's got a long way to go, but luckily with this red shirt, he will be able to develop under Franklin. His pass blocking can almost go all the way up. Same thing with his power. His run blocking is going to be a little bit limited, but hopefully we can see him sprout into a beautiful flower as he starts a right tackle next season. Jeff Towns returned at defensive end last year. He had 20 tackles, seven tackles for loss, and only one and a half sacks. But I'm hoping that his speed to power ratio can come through again. If not, then we also have a backup right behind him, Dustin Flint with 82 block shing and 81 power move. So it's going to be a mix of them too. John Decker IV has developed quite nicely on the opposite side. Coming in as a redshirt freshman, 77 power move, which is pretty good as a freshman. 86 hit power, so hopefully he can create some strip sacks. 76 block shinning, 83 pursue. Again, kind of capped. His finesse move can go up. So will his quickness. But let's just hope he can develop throughout the season, make some key plays, and hopefully blossom as well. At defensive tackle, a new player that we haven't seen yet is going to be Cade Bloom. Bloom coming in as a sophomore with star development. As a one star coming up to 75 overall, look at this power, 98 hit power. So if there's a guy that can cause a fumble with a hit stick, it's going to be Bloom. Bloom can lay the boom. With 89 tackle, 87 pursue, his quickness can really skyrocket too. So he's going to be a nice, well-rounded player when it's all said and done. We moved Anthony Murphy over to the left outside linebacker spot. 
he played very well in the absence of Alex Peterson a year ago and I wanted him to be on the field at all times same thing here the highlights of Anthony Murphy is his speed being more of a sideline and sideline linebacker 87 speed 87 excel hopefully he can have a good season like he did a year ago once again we already highlighted Peterson but one guy I want to show here is redshirt freshman Juan Laletta coming with impact development three star coming out and look at his quickness his quickness all the way at the bottom is at an 89 overall and as you see here 90 speed 88 excel and look at that you don't find many linebackers with 90 speed off the rip on the other side we're going to have jordan underwood only a two-star power rusher type his pass rush can greatly increase he does have 86 hit power that we can work with 83 pursue doesn't have the great block shitting but 84 speed 84 excel so as his pass rush develops so will he one guy that's going to be creeping on the trail is going to be larry dunkel and again another red shirt freshman with his great development traits and only 81 speed he's going to develop quite nicely as he doesn't have that many caps for his ability at corner we desperately needed to revamp our secondary last year we got burned so many times right now we have dakota mills who didn't play a year ago but now he has developed up into a 76 overall with 89 man coverage 88 change of direction 74 catching and 98 zone you gotta be kidding that is a crazy number for his own coverage 86 speed and 86 excel so he's gonna be making all these plays in that zone coverage with it being a 98 we also brought in Deshaun Rucker a transfer from USF 54 tackles four for a loss only one interception a year ago so we're hoping he can create more turnovers for us this season with 77 man 88 change direction more of our man coverage guy 76 catching and 76 zone coverage so we can play both with 90 speed and 93 excel once again he can either blitz off the edge play man or play zone coverage we also brought back ty dawson coming in as a senior this year had 74 tackles four interceptions as well as a fumble recovery and a defensive touchdown dawson coming in with that 86 press 96 change of direction 78 catching 77 zone and 91 speed going to be our slot corner in our defense now another corner i want to highlight with a bunch of these guys being redshirted this season we again we have about six guys coming in that are true freshmen being redshirted it's going to be nate siegel got star development as a three-star freshman coming in so that means he's going to be shooting up quite nicely and he doesn't have that many caps his man coverage can almost be developed all the way same thing with his hands and run stopping ability zone coverage is going to be a little bit limited but he will only have 88 speed and 88 excel so hopefully in about a year or two he'll be starting for us same thing here with caleb brown impact development three-star corner coming out doesn't have that many caps zone coverage can almost go all the way up same thing with his man so in a couple of years he'll be a guy that we can trust on an island by himself at free safety our main man is nico page page had a fantastic season a year ago 100 tackles three interceptions two forced fumbles and forced fumble recoveries with three defensive touchdowns so how can you not start him after that superb season probably because we were on the field a lot a year ago let's hope he can make some more defensive touchdowns make some more plays with 88 speed 91 excel and good change of direction but one guy that's going to be hot on his heels is going to be freshman javier sabri we have redshirted him right now but that could come off later in the season with that star development he does need to develop quite a bit honestly with his pass coverage and his run support but hopefully by next season he will be great for our defense on the back end at strong safety we also brought in jalen stokes he's coming in with three star as a impact development trait as senior another transfer from usf just like rucker the teammates all came back to join at what for the panthers does have 43 tackles one tfl hopefully he can fill in the box as that strong safety only 72 zone but 84 catching so he's gonna be able to make some plays 81 pursue 76 hit power with 92 speed and 92 excel i feel like stokes can do really well at that sub linebacker spot and then a kicker right now it does have his red shirt but he has the best development trait at the kicker spot so we're going to take this off of shaw he does have 87 kick power and 68 kick accuracy and then once again at punter we have matt thomas with that star development trait 94 kick accuracy and as you see his kick power is at 93 so don't be surprised if matt thomas comes on the field to kick some field goal for us with a great accuracy and kick power for the recruiting this is what it's going to look like really highlighted by terrence pierce going after a bunch of guys here but pierce does have 92 speed 
93 excel at middle linebacker nobody's offered him a scholarship yet so i'm not really sure why but we do are standing but we are standing in great position on a bunch of guys another guy i want to highlight here is braxton pierce 96 speed 85 agility another fast wide receiver but if you enjoyed this video drop a like subscribe down below and comment what the score is going to be against alabama but until then i'm out peace